Hi there, Pisces. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 21st of November. Venus, the planet of love and attraction, but also money, is a planet which is exalted in your sign. In other words, it has a special resonance when it's linking to planets that are the rulers of your zodiac sign. And that's what happens at the start of this week. When on Monday and Tuesday, Venus continues to angle beautifully with Neptune. A friend or someone perhaps you fancy can really be chiming on your senses in a very special way across those two days. But there is the potential for some other energies too, because the sun is clashing with the moon on Monday, the quarter moon, and that provides a backdrop for the rest of the week. And this is a week when your desire for freedom to be a uh, free spirit could be compromised some, in some ways by the demands and expectations of other people you come into contact with. Perhaps some practical responsibilities are part of this, particularly at work. Now, if you're serious about making progress in terms of your professional hopes, the sun's arrival on Tuesday in the sign of Sagittarius where he joins with Mercury and also Saturn is a good thing. It's going to give you a lot more drive, determination, and also the desire to let people know in the following month about the talents, skills, and abilities you have. But with Mercury combining with Saturn this week, there can also be responsibilities and pressures. And one situation could seem a bit oppressive, and that's where that quarter moon comes in. If you've enjoyed the last month when there has been a little bit more fluidity and freedom, this can cramp your style a little bit and it may be time to get back down to brass tacks. However, if you do and really concentrate on what's important and juggle your time and resources effectively, a lot can be achieved. But Venus then goes on to forge a sensational link with Pluto this week. Pluto in your sector of life direction and friendship suggest that there may be one person in your circle who could become so much more important to you under this influence. It could even go all the way to a sensual encounter. Then again, you may encounter someone in your circle who seems to be very plausible and likeable and maybe does give out the signal that they fancy you. But for them, it may just be a fleeting interest. And if you're looking for something deeper and more sincere, then just be a little guarded in your approach. When Venus and Pluto get together, there is usually a hidden agenda. So just be conscious of that. It may even be your own motives that you need to be really crunchingly honest about. But Saturn also forges two other great links. And this is encouraging you to continue to be as bold, but also progressive as possible to your business interests. With Jupiter and Uranus in opposition, some of the most unusual ideas could actually be sensational for your future. But you also have to ground them, check them out, really scrutinise them to be sure that you're not just investing energy in a situation which actually is not really going to give you any tangible reward. But a week generally, when your skill set, your knowledge and your abilities are going to come much more into focus as far as other people and yourself are concerned. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.